Hey guys, this is Ivan with Country Fishing YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to tie a catfish rig that I use. Let's see here, I'm going to start with a, a number 9 circle hook. It's been modified, it's offset. When I buy them, they're when I buy them, they are straight. I always offset my my hooks. I think it. Uh, I think there's a better better hookup. Um, just for the video, I'm going to use a pyramid sinker. The sinker can actually be a bank sinker or you know a big big egg sinker. snap swivel we're using that and a three-way swivel I'm trying to see if I had one silver so you could see it a little better but I don't have one in this box so three-way swivel Okay, got your hook, three-way swivel, sinker, and your snap swivel. The snap swivel you can do without. The only thing I'm going to use this snap swivel for is for the sinker. Um, and the reason I do this is so you can quickly change lead um, weight you know you can change the weight of your lead if, if you need to go up or down so if you know for sure on your spot that you're going to be using one specific piece of lead you you won't have to to use this but uh, okay first things first I'm going to tie on my hook I use a polymer knot. Hopefully the video, hopefully you can see this all in the video. If not, just look on my channel on how to tie a polymer knot. I've got a video on there that's specifically for tying the knot. So. Okay, grab my nippers here. <laughs> I just decided, hey, you know what? I'm gonna show them how to do this rig real quick. Get the tagline off. Come up about, come up about 18 inches. Cut that off. Same thing I'm going to do here. I'm going to do a polymer knot again. I like the polymer knot. It's just it's easy to it's easy to tie and it's a strong knot. I've never had it. I've never had it fail. It's always done me good. So. Cut off the tagline. Okay, there's our 
here's our here's our hook. Okay. Now and if anybody's guessing this is uh let me look here, I think it's the this is thirty pound big game, Berkeley big game. Been pretty good stuff for me. Okay, we'll do the snap swivel. Same thing. Polymer knot. I used the polymer knot on everything. I like the old polymer knot. And a lot of people will argue, oh, the polymer knot, I don't like it, you know. It's usually because they don't know how to tie it. But, or they learned another knot before, you know, and they feel comfortable with it. Which I tell you, fishing is uh, feeling comfortable with and, and confident with what you're doing is the main thing. If you don't feel comfortable tying a polymer knot, don't tie it. Tie your knot that you like. Don't uh, don't change with what you feel comfortable on. Same thing. We'll uh, we'll go up, up about 18 inches or so. Cut the line. This is going to go. One side of the rig. Same thing, polymer knot. Let me get a little bit more loop here. Pull everything through. Hooking off. Cut off the tag line. Maybe. There we go. Okay. Now you got your snap swivel for your sinker to go on. This will go to your main line, to your rod. I don't know if my camera will pick this up. But the hook is here. The sinker is here. Comes up. Goes to the three way. Main line goes here. This is great for drifting. Well, the pyramid sinker ain't great for drifting, but <laughs> if you use a uh, like a bank sinker down here, it's good. Um, a round disc sinker uh, works good down here just anything that you feel comfortable with really and then when you're it's kind of hard to get all this on video but when you're drifting here's the main line pulling your bait is up here on the hook and your weight is on the bottom and you're, you're just dragging that along you can even add a float up in here to help suspend your bait and it also helps to keep from getting all hung up and tangled up 
That this is a good effective rig for for drift fishing. Um, put them out and put you a good piece of good piece of shad on there or skipjack. But uh, that's it, guys. I hope this helps somebody. I'm go through it again. I hope my camera's picking this up. But got your three-way. Your main line's gonna go here, and it goes down. You got two, roughly about 18 inches or so. I've got the hook shorter than the, the sinker. Nine knot circle modified with an offset. Barrel snap swivel going to a sinker. Obviously, I wouldn't use the I wouldn't use the uh, pyramid sinker. I just done that for the video. Um, I would actually probably use either a much larger, and it depends on the current too. I don't, I don't want to sit here and tell you a weight on this because every river and every lake is going to have different currents and stuff. You know, could be something like this. You can go with a larger. I don't even know if I could get this one on. Yeah, I don't think I can get that on there. This is a small. Too small for that, but I don't know, it went on there. Kind of. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to lock it in, but see, that's what I say. This is a small little little two ounce. You're going to fish for more than that, hopefully. But, um, based with what you're comfortable with, this is a good rig. Try it out. Try it out and give it a try. Get you some skipjack, some shad. It even works great with live bait. Put a live, put some live bait on there with this three rig, three way rig, and, and uh, you'll be happy. All right, guys, if this helped out any at all, hit that like button down there. Share it with your friends or whatnot. I'm stuck inside right now where our weather is just too cold. Our weather is just too cold right now to. Uh, go fishing so I'm stuck in the house making YouTube videos rigging making rigs that way my rigs are ready for when I get out on the boat so all right guys thanks for watching the video you guys take care till next time keep them lines tight make them rig get them catfish box built let's uh let's see some uh great pictures this year Let's get some pictures going. Let's get some videos going on YouTube. Get some pictures going on some of these Facebook groups, you know. There's some really good groups out there. Um, hope to see you guys around. Till then, tight lines. Take care.